Over the years, our income gap has narrowed. Incomes at the 20th percentile grew faster than the median. This decade, our ambition is to build on these gains and significantly grow incomes at the lower end. Workfare, which the government introduced in 2007, will remain a permanent feature of our social safety net, boosting incomes at the lower end and moderating inequality. But wages must go up while preserving options to work. We agree with Dr. Ko Po Kun, Mayor Fami, and Mr. Pritam Singh that it is only fair for essential services workers to be better recognised for their efforts. As a society, we must be willing to accord dignity through paying better salaries to those at the lowest end. We must also create pathways for these workers to progress. I'm very glad Mr. Raj Joshua recognises this as the true value of the progressive wage model. No one should dismiss its meaningfulness to workers, whatever the age of these workers. This is why, in October last year, with the encouragement of DPM Heng, I sought the support of SecGen NTUC and President SNEF to set up the tripartite work group on lower wage workers. The work group is making good progress. It has developed an ambitious plan and detailed roadmap for a major expansion of the PWM. We will start by introducing PWM to the food service and retail sectors. In cleaning, security and landscaping, in-house workers will be covered. We will also work out ways to introduce PWM to other occupational groups, what Dr. Cole calls vocational PWM. Senior Minister of State Zaki, who chairs the work group, will provide more details in his speech. Mr. Chairman, Singapore has what it takes to uplift the lives of our lower wage workers and their families. In doing so, we will become a better and more cohesive society. <laughs>